though, too. Indigo is trying to answer neighborhood anger over construction of the Red Line bus system. We've told you about the frustration of folks in the Meridian Kessler neighborhood about the construction and the detours specifically. Katie Wisely now joins us with the response from Indigo. Katie? Good morning. There are three big concerns residents have with the Red Line project and its construction, but not all of those changes are permanent. The first issue is speeding after the four way stops were turned into active traffic signals. News 8 questioned Brian Llewellyn with Indigo and asked if those would be turned back into four ways once construction is done. Llewellyn said residents don't need to worry. DPW and Indigo will switch those back. The second issue is the traffic diversion from college onto Central. Residents say there's been an increase in traffic and it's caused a hassle in the small neighborhood and residents worry nothing will change once the red line opens. Llewellyn said there's no way of knowing, but he does believe drivers will want to avoid the red line on college, which would force Indigo to look for alternate routes that could still include Central Avenue. And the third issue is a designated bus lane on College Avenue. You know, it's a safety issue. We, we like the idea of improved transit, but this neighborhood at this point feels like it's an experiment. There are absolutely impacts to doing a construction project. There are impacts to making changes to the roadway. Um, but 60% of voters in Marion County supported enhanced transit. Um, there are always trade-offs whenever you make any changes. But that's not enough for homeowners in the area. They plan to have a rally against Red Line sometime next week. They've also created a new website called RedlineRealFacts.org. Now that construction is expected to be finished sometime this summer. And when it is done, Indigo will send out a six month post survey to residents in the area to see how they can improve. Katie Wisely, Wish TV News 8. All right, Katie, thanks so much for keeping us updated.